We've seen in the last section how rule dependencies can be used to guide bottom-up grounding so that one sub-program of the whole program is guided one after another uh, and no rules are generated uh, again and again. Except, and that's actually what we've seen at the end, if we have recursion in one component. And here the cure is semi-naive grounding, which is a technique known from databases where it's called semi-naive database evaluation. Um, as mentioned, this comes from the field of databases, and if you want to read it up, just follow this um, uh, bibli bibliography link to the so-called Alice book, Alice in Wonderland. Very nice book. And so let me just give you the, the, the brief idea. So the, the, the key idea is more or less to focus on newly generated atoms. And so whenever you want to produce a new atom that is then used for grounding at a step i, the, the, the production of this rule must rely on at least one atom newly generated at the previous step. That's more or less the idea. And that will also allow us to, uh, to have a more effective procedure of grounding uh, when, when using recursion. Okay, now the thing is, uh, I will not go further now with this video, simply because in the course we will not be deepening semi-naive uh, grounding or semi-naive database evaluation. And also, it is something that you can find in, in most database books well described. It gets a bit technical, and uh, I still have to talk to Roland the Builder of Gringo the Grounder how we present this without getting lost uh, in details. And uh, so whenever I've done so and I had some time, I record this video. Of course, the slides that I have up, till up until now are available. And um, well, but I will now go on and do the next video on rule simplification. Stay tuned.